Greetings and welcome back to Rescue HQ the Tycoon. I'm Catherine of Sky and this is the next episode recorded from the stream. Enjoy! Okay, so let's deal with these. We have uh, local business. <laughs> yeah, we need f that many. Let's use rep for this one because we don't have enough people. Let's see. Oh, we could have also waited for one of these to come back. I don't remember the timing on that one. Oh, that was, that was kind of silly of me. I just was like instant thing. Okay, let's send some people out here. Picking, picking the ones with the most XP so we can level them up a bit. Uh, okay, let's see. Come on, peeps. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, successful emergency. Another one. So those are those two. So I don't think, I think we probably just don't get the penalty for, for those, but we don't necessarily either get the, oh no, crew injured. No, they'll recover in a few shifts. Ugh, that's a long time. Okay. Successful emergency. Next shift. Let's go. Oh, wow. We're getting plenty of, uh, reputation. Oh. Oh, that's just the one that we don't have yet. This is the sofa chair. What does that look like? This is a most... It's like a two-seater thingy. It's hard to tell. We probably need another relax relaxation room here. Okay, there we go. Man, I wish I could buy this lot. That would be nice, but I'm afraid of the money. <laughs> Okay, the time on it was as long as the completion of the others. Oh, thanks, Tessa. Um, okay, so we have two more police emergencies uh, to deal with here. Does, does either of them need special stuff? Nope. Okay, police cruiser. Let's send these two people off. Actually, we could send three. Send Karen off there. For this one, since we only have two vehicles anyway, might as well just send them all off there. Go. Okay, and repair these trucks. Wondering if I should get another police cruiser. Oh, the trial's about to begin. Make sure you have the required resources. Okay, yep, that's coming in the morning time. This is good. Oh, cruiser broke down. That's not good. Close this. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hey, Keithy. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I, I'm on Twitch now. It's, it's very exciting. Yay. Hey, on it, PST. Welcome. Shrink the training room. Uh, you know, that's a really good idea because we don't actually need these things in the training room. Let me hire this applicant for daytime, especially for daytime. Let's see. Can we build the relaxation room bigger? Yeah, that's good. I like how it does that. It's quite handy. And let's see what these, uh, the sofa chair looks like. It's only seven. Oh, that's cheap maintenance. So we can make this. Oh, that's quite nice. It's like a little uh, corner, corner thingy imaging -y. It's very cheap. Okay, so those people can deal with stuff. Let's see what that looks like. It has very brown looking topiaries. <laughs> Jeez, the flowers are very pretty, but the topiaries themselves are uh, quite, quite dead, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to click this. There we go. Um, let's see. Can you get SWAT equipment for the big trial? No, I haven't seen anywhere to get SWAT equipment other than the cruiser or the police van, I should say. Let's see. If we look in utility, do we get anything else? No, just same stuff that we have no idea what other things are. This, I'm wondering if these guys are full. I'm thinking maybe delete one of these because they cost 1000 to to maintain. We're at five days and I'm pretty sure we can make the money. Should be fine. Uh, let's see. All right, let's fast forward out for the night. Come on, guys. We need to start some more emergencies, people. Oh, no, it will be fine. It will be fine. All right, we have people. Hopefully we have enough people to go in the cruiser, though we'll have a high chance anyway of getting it. So 
There we go. Okay, here it is. Unresponded emergency. There's the Mafia Boss trial. Don Carlito, the world-class Mafia Boss. I like this world-class Mafia Boss, as if there's like sort of a rating system in Mafia Boss land or something like this. He's being held in the capital and awaiting trial. Provide a good police escort in case his ex-buddies try to break him out. Or more likely, silence him for good. Yep, 25k reward. Nice, nice for this. Uh, not that many stars, but that's fine. I think we can manage it. We can take the police fan, which will give us eight people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. 100% chance of getting it sorted. Good, good. Finally, it will be fine. All right, so there they go. Everybody's leaping to their lockers to get their stuff. And that works. I need the air things. I have a hard time keeping up with the refills of two. All right, you're right. I should, I should do that. Okay, I just, I'm wanting to save money here and there if I can. Uh, so we don't have any prisoners waiting. This is good. The soccer match is coming up. We still have no idea how to get riot gear yet. There we go. Okay, hopefully it's only a couple hours away. That's kind of cool. You mouse over and it tells you who's on which uh, thing. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, successful emergency. You secured City Hall's support. Congratulations. They provided a huge funding for our efforts. After deducting my consulting fees, I can still pass almost half of it on to you. Wow, we have money now. Hello. One suspect has arrived. Here they go. I like how he's going by himself. It's like he knows he's done wrong. It's like, okay, I'll walk there. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow, 115k for that. That's nice. Okay. Now they're telling us about medical stuff. Um right what do we want to do with this do we want to process this guy probably process him go now then let's pause somebody's asking about a oh okay here's medical stuff triage station and medicine laboratory produces medicine okay we have the garage which will give us an ambulance we definitely need some of this land but this one is cheaper haha <laughs> we can buy this for 13,000 I think we will get it yay uh, let's unlock this thing we need the ambulance let's see probably only need one more square on this garage here so let's just increase this by a little bit get this one in here boom that's fine I'm really thinking that it might be yeah, I know medicine handmade in the station. That sounds most interesting. Uh-huh. Um, I'm wondering if I should either have doors here. I, I don't suppose I would need whole corridors along that side. That's that's not really... I don't think there's any penalty for going through rooms or something like that. Um, so I'm wondering if we should like interconnect our rooms a little bit more, maybe? Let's see. Let's put doors somewhere usable here. Like... door hello door ah there we go clicking the door hooray uh let's put one here and one in the bathroom sure that works relax room can be door here no it doesn't matter it actually doesn't matter because they have to go to the locker room first but uh i do want to move one of these guys like maybe this one and put an extra door here so that people can get into these rooms faster. Because, yeah, I forgot about that bit where they like they have to go to the locker first before they get into here. So I guess I could remove these doors. It's kind of not necessary. Not clear. We want the cell. Cell door. Yeah. Okay. Sell this door. Well, actually, that door might be okay because they could just like instead of going around this way they can go through the office and people are in the office are like no why did our room become a super highway of people now <laughs> our herbal medicine okay corridor along the new terrain yeah i could do that actually that's a good idea um but yeah we still need to deal with the lockers i could set up another locker room here i could set up a locker room that has a corridor running through the middle of it 
which probably is maybe what we need instead. Let's move this stuff. How about we do that? Let's okay. Office we have what? This is medical division hiring station. Okay. So what I want to do, I think, is put yeah, let's do a whole rearrangement of this thing because this is just not really working for me. So here we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five as a minimum for the office. Let's see, three, four, five. And go this way with that. Okay. I'm going to move these things to be, let's see, like this, I think. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And then we're going to need another hiring thingy majingy for the, these people. Oh, God. Okay, I, I keep getting dyslexic about, like, okay, which way is it? Uh-huh. Um, this thing is three wide. So we're going to need another three squares on the other side there. Let's put, oh, no, 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 no. I really didn't want the door there. I really didn't want it there. I promise you thing. Um, okay, so we're going to need at least three squares on this side. One, two, three. Let's take that up this way. And expand this this way as well. So get all that stuff in there and we'll move this to here and then we'll have some of these paperwork cabinets be these seem to be like okay it's fine we'll just do it that way okay so the office can be here and i want this to be another um what do you call this thing the utility thingy yeah utility ah here we have medic lockers excellent um let's build a couple of basic medical stations this way patients won't be forwarded to a hospital and instead we get to collect the insurance money wow well then <laughs> jeez guy really uh, right okay let's unlock the medical lockers also we can put the lockers near where they go instead of having all the fire one all the police ones here we should put them over here because this is where the police cars are uh okay so in fact we might move these stations around a bit oh i should have you know what this one is not done yet so i'm thinking let's remove the ambulance thing for now let's sell that sell this okay and then we're going to move some of the other things around. Let's move this one. We're just going to like carefully like play musical chairs here. That's fine if we do this like that. And then now let's put in the uh, medical, the ambulance thing. There we go. Boom. Yay. Probably need two of those. Let's get the utility room here. We only need, I think we need three like that and then we can extend these other rooms further backward if we wanted to and this way we can just have lockers on either side here and we'll have our doors there's the door put one like right here for this and then for the ambulance we'll have it here this is this is looking good i'm i'm liking this if you're not seeing the the final features of this i it will become obvious very shortly let's put um police there police actually i can have all of the firefighters in here i think ding 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 the yay is real uh all right and then rotate there we go. And then these are also police lockers. Yeah, fine. They kind of snap weirdly, I have to say. They're a little bit odd there. And then we'll move these firefighter lockers into a better spot here. And then we'll have we'll we'll delete this wall in between. Because that way we can pass from one side to the other. Perfect. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. We like this. Okay, so, oh, this is going to be so much better for our people. Okay, and then 
first responders medical branch. Let's put their lockers here for now. Let's have four. Let's make six. We'll do six. That's fine. Okay. Yay. Life is better now. We might... I'm wondering if I should make a second bay for the... Another, um... Medical vehicle. Okay, and here... Now, this is where we're gonna get into the sneaky bits here. Training room, we will extend here. Then we have the... Bathroom. Yes. Here. That's looking very strange, but it will be fine. It will, oh, wait, I can move that instead. Just move the door there. Yay. And then we can... Oh, it actually kept the wall. Interesting. Makes sense. There we go. And then relaxation room. We will move this this way. And we will also build a door here on this side so people can kind of get through places. I like this idea of just like having multiple entrances so so our people can get to the fire trucks faster and they can leave faster which means they'll get home faster which means we can process more emergencies faster yay it, it's a whole nice little uh chain reaction thing going on here okay medical need to unlock this and this um the triage station and the medicine laboratory i wonder okay newly brought in patients now this is the odd thing for me with this game it's like normally even if places dispatch vehicles from the same locations as we discussed earlier, um, they would take him to a hospital. <laughs> really? <laughs> they would take him to a hospital. They're not like, hey, come back to the fire station. We can take care of your wounds there. It it'll be fine, right? Like, they wouldn't do that. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't. Uh, okay, so let's go with applicants here. We have another firefighter. Let's hire them on the day shift. Uh, all right, so then we're unpacking these boxes. Fine. We actually start off with two uh, day shift and two night shift medical employees. Oh, Thomas. Oh, no. Light injury. Surface tissue wounds, twisted joints should heal after a single shift at home. Wow. Interesting. Let's see. Um... Stoney suggests, what are your thoughts about building the garage on the entire street front and centralizing the bunk room, rec room, and kitchen, then having the office and training room types on the exterior of the building? Ah, uh, that sounds interesting. Hey, Kyle's Commander, how are you doing? Um, you know, the thing is, I don't know if we're going to get access to this park area or not. But at the moment, everything is kind of centralized as it is. Um, but I might need to build another kitchen, I'm thinking, or more. You know what? I could build multiple kitchens. Um, but yeah, I was planning on having most of the street front be, uh, for vehicles to, to go out. I need more beds. You know what? I, I've not noticed everybody in the beds at once. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should even reduce beds. But since we have more people now, I think I'll leave them where they are. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem like we're having queuing for anything at the moment, which is good. <laughs> I'm still like amused by that whole toilet, toiletries, vanity set. Uh, okay, so where do I want to build the triage area? That's a good question. Um, gee, I could have this corridor go up this way and build the triage area here. That might be a good idea. How big are these things? Let's check on that first. Like this thing is big. It is two by three, I think. And this is big, big. This is four by two fuzzy cats um yeah sure we'll just shuffle them hey come through the locker room come down the corridor we'll send you to the medical place <laughs> um yeah i think we'll put the medical out here for now uh we can put the corridor this way just so we have space for it i might need to expand this room though so i'm not entirely sure if that would work the way i want it to but we'll see uh let's put the medical room out here then have a nice big room so that they can wow it's very medically blue like hurting my eyes blue hello blue how you doing triage station okay this is going to cost us 700 per uh week oh okay so this is our laboratory let's just put medical let's have a couple of medical beds shall we and then we'll have our laboratory wow okay here i guess i'm not sure what this stuff on the right is if that's like where they create medicine or what. 
says produces medicine. We'll just trust it and call it good. There we go. Boom, boom. All right. Still kind of wondering if I should do that second thing. We still we do have enough money to pay off the, the deficit, though, which is good. OK, so we build ambulance. That's coming. Burn unit. What? Aha. This is the medicine cabinet. OK, so this is a production station we have now found out. And we'll build a cabinet here to store the medicine. Oh, there they're going. They're working. Yay. Hi. How you doing? Okay, so we have one medicine cabinet. How much does it need? Oopsies. You know what we're going to call this? We're going to say they're packing up the medicine and the bandages into like little packets or something instead of saying, aha, they're ma making medicine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. We can, let's build another medical cabinet, medicine cabinet there. Um, another project hospital. No, this is kind of different. This is different than project hospital. This is, um, this is like an emergency responder thing. So it's very, very different from project hospital. That's for sure. Okay. So this person, oh, this is the mafia guy, I think still, right? Andrew Serafini. We haven't, oh, they're, they're interrogating them. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's repair this. And I'm not sure. Wait a second. This is football. Sh oh, riot gear. You know what? I bet people are going to get injured in that, in a riot. That sounds inconvenient. We need to get up our reputation as well. Okay. Next shift. Good, good. Okay. Let's go, everyone. We're doing well. Everybody's doing well. I'm wondering if also I should make these rooms more interconnected as well. The kitchen is a little bit not really very, very ideal, I have to say. Um, but yeah, let's let's rearrange this just a teeny bit. Let's go for just in case people are in the bedroom or the kitchen when the emergency is called out, then um, they can easily get to their to their spots faster. Let's go here. Put a door here. All right. And we'll have one here-ish. Might move that later. I want to move this door though. And I want to move these guys. Let's just move this here for now and move this one like this. I think I'm going to move this door to be like here. And then move this over on the other side. Yeah, that's better, I think. I think that makes more sense. Okay, a new applicant, yay. Who do we have? Oh, okay, let's hire you for the day shift then. Good, works for me. All right, this is this is interesting. We have a completely new look to the place. Looks great. All right, well, let's see our limits here. We're doing pretty well on the limits of how many employees we can have for each service. I don't guess that there's, oh, I should move this as well. Let's move this thing. Can I M? No, I have to get on the construction menu to M this. Let's just do that there. That's fine. Okay. All right. New person applicants. Yay. Ah, another fire fireman. There we go. What's going on with these people? Aren't your storage is full? Okay, so let's turn these off. This this is something that I hope will be changed in the game here. <clears throat> uh, which I, this is so strange. Like why would they work at a place if they see the storage is full? That, that doesn't make any sense to me. So I hope the devs will change that AI. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me just do this. Let's do a feedback thing again. Let's see, I wish, I wish, let's see. Um, people would stop working at a station if storage is full. I mean, it seems just silly. Oh, you know what? We're going to break that down. Silly to have to turn stations off. Okay, there we go. Uh, manually. Because that's something like, I mean, it, it doesn't even make sense like in, in, in reality. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god. You imagine they're kidnapping sick people and collecting ransom on them to finance the whole operation. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, finally we have an emergency. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. We need the guns out. Okay, that's kind of scary. Let's take the police van and we'll take the two most experienced people. So hopefully they're going to level up soon. Dispatch them. I'm being really... Um, I'm trying to be more frugal on sending people out at the moment. Just because, um, yeah, we want to have enough people left. So we have one extinguisher, which is not ideal, but it'll be okay. It looks like we can make these eventually, but we don't have the tech right now for it. So let's send, let's see, industrial area. Let's, oh no, this is the wrong shift. My other person is the industrial expert. Anyway, we'll send people out anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, and eight. Sure, why not? Um, oh, we need the other truck. Let's send the other truck as well. We need a lot of firefighters. Do we need? Yep, we need all of them. Dispatch, go, do it. Greetings, okay. and welcome to the sky, people. Hey, Alex, thank you so very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. That's awesome. Wow, thank you. Okay, you don't need both foam extinguishers and still get 100% chance. Oh, that's a good That's a good observation. I forgot to, uh, to note that. But that makes sense. Okay, so everybody's going out. We didn't get our um, medical thing yet, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, Chaos Commander, you know what? This is two weeks from release. So uh, I think there's still some like tiny little placeholder things. And I'm not sure this might be the early access version. I have not, I didn't know about this game until it was offered to me like two days ago or so. And so I decided to play it last night, see if it was uh, fun enough to kind of like play uh, on a series slash stream. So I'm not quite sure. And I don't know if it's going to come out into early access or if it's coming out full release. I don't know that. So um, we'll find out, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> hey, Yekwin, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, Greetings goodness. and welcome to the sky, people. Oh, thank you so very much, Smeagol, for subscribing. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy and oh by the way for everyone who has subscribed or thinking about subscribing i don't i just got affiliate was it yesterday or the day before some right after the last stream so i don't have the emoticons up yet but those are coming we shall have grand and lovely and beautiful emoticons because i love that part of twitch it's so much fun to have those so those are going to be coming soon uh, yeah, this is a new sim indeed where we're creating. Oh, we haven't looked from this side yet. We're, we're creating um, rescue services, fire and police and medical. And so we just got the medical folks in and um, we're seeing how uh, all this is happening. Looks like all this stuff is going. Oh, we probably need to. Are we six? No, we have plenty of those. That's what I don't get is like a person will just like stand there and keep crushing the air with their hands and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, we have a multi-emergency. Hello. Uh, right, so let's see. Oh my gosh, we have things. We have medical things that need happening. All right, heavy smoke is coming out of a villa and there are people trapped inside. Fire seems contained to that house, but it's still pretty big. We need stuff, man. We need the ladders. We need eight air tanks. We need water tanks. We need medical people. Let's choose the medical people first. So we're going to have ambulance, which takes three people. Um, and then we'll get a medic. Okay, one person. So that's fine. We'll take Sammy. And you know what? Since we can't send medical people on any other vehicles, let's take all three for the XP. And then we'll go to the fire uh, crew. Wow, we have a lot of rookies here. We need to probably take some of them along. Let's take the ladder truck, of course. We also need a water tank truck. We need six firefighters all together. Um, so let's take this one and we'll take some of the new folks. And we'll go ahead and take these two guys, which is going to give us very tiny amounts. But 
Let's see. It's a house fire urban environment, so we can leave Raymond here. Let's take these people. Wow, they're close to leveling up. Rusty and Maudie. Look at that. Okay, until we have six. There we go. There's there's six. Okay, and then eight air tanks. All right, let's go. Dispatch. We don't want to take too many because we have this other fire emergency here. Uh, oh, yay, we have the foam truck. Hooray. That gives us 5% only for that foam. Huh. Does it, do we need anything else? No? Just, okay, so the one foam extinguisher gives us 5%. We'll take, oh, wow, I didn't realize we left one of our uh, rookies behind. That's unfortunate. Uh, that's fine, though. Take these. Wow, we need eight people for this. No! Uh, could take this. 65%. Yeah, let's risk it. It'll be fine. Should have left the rookies for this mission. I, I miscalculated there. I didn't even look at that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and dispatch them. We need more. We need more people. Uh, anyway, if you're new to the stream, the rookies get XP and they tend to level up after like two missions. So that's why I'm taking them out. Otherwise, they cannot. They don't count as a firefighter. Oh, look at this. Okay, Eco Summit is scheduled for the end of the week. A big, balding, angry bird tweeted that we have a sabotaged event on our hands. The bird is in power, hence we comply. Perhaps another demonstration of safety. Okay. Um, let's see. Mutiful asks, any chance we'll see RimWorld on your channel? Possibly. At the moment, there are actually two colony builders that look absolutely fabulous and i'm going to be playing them i don't know if i'll do them on stream or on videos but they look like a lot of fun i do like colony builders but um i don't know some parts of RimWorld are frustrating to me um but we might we might see it in the future we'll just have to see so okay uh indeed yeah when it is different than 911 operator i think this is a little bit more fun than 911 operator it seems to be a little bit more i don't know it, it's kind of cool. I love, and, and somebody mentioned the graphics. I love the graphics too. They look really cool. All the people in here, they're, they all have, you know, different uniforms and uh, and stuff. These are all the police people since we didn't send them out. Here are the firefighters. Uh, they have different hairstyles. Love it. Oh, hey, that's a lot of money. Oh, I didn't ever notice this. Crew members have been promoted to seasoned. That's the, um, the, the, the rookies uh, leveled up to be full firefighters. This is great. Uh, so anyway, that's great. We got money, money, reputation. Uh, yes, I've noticed they have no faces. They, you know what? I think it's so they don't show fear at like the whole fire and scary stuff happening. <laughs> that's my best guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so patient handling. Send to free spot in a triage station. Triage station determines what other stations a patient must visit to be healed. Activate these treatment stations to assign patient and medic crew. Okay, great. So we need to go to the something first, triage, to something else. Okay, great. Careful, you received a patient from the last medical emergency. And what do patients have besides terrific pain? That's right, they have insurance. <laughs> oh my god, oh my goodness. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.